Welcome everyone to Throwback Thursday and today we're dealing with Burnout 3 Takedown. Now this was released in 2004 and obviously by the name this is the third game in the Burnout series from Criterion. So yeah, this is a brilliant, brilliant arcade racer that doesn't have all that much to it but is a uh, what is there is great nonetheless. And if you're wondering why this is the world's quietest at the menu screen it's because I've had to turn the uh, music off because it's all copyrighted. Yeah, the music is in general is decent enough. There's 44 songs played in game on the uh, during racing and uh, in the menu. But yeah, I have to turn that off because I don't want any copyright strikes. But yeah, uh, the uh, single player mode or the world tour as it's called takes a place across the USA, Europe, and the Far East. And yeah. The shields that you see now, they're the races, so uh, just normal arcade races like the game, uh, races from the previous two games. And the uh, dollar signs are for the crash events, which we'll get to in a bit. But we'll uh, show off one race first, because the crash events are the best part, but we'll uh, do a race nonetheless. Yeah, you get a choice of various vehicles, none of them are licensed, but, you know, this is obviously something like Honda Civic, but... So that's not what it's called, because <laughs> to avoid licensing, they just made up their own. Yeah, this is just a time trial. I'll show you a proper race. That's the final. Yeah, the uh. Driving sounds very arcadey. Like all burnout. No real feel to the actual driving itself, but it does uh, provide a lot of fun. Especially when you're up against other opponents. Which unfortunately we're not, because I don't think this was just a time trial. Yeah, if you do stunts like drifting and uh, oncoming traffic like that, you get a boost, which keep keep topping up while doing more stunts. So you never really run out. So you keep up to your top speed as long as you want, as long as you keep filling it up, and yeah, you can actually crash properly. Like most games nowadays where you just glance off the walls. It's a proper crashing in this with proper effects and everything like some games. You just get a mere crack of a windscreen or a rumple of the uh, bonnet. Proper crashes that can uh, lead on to more crashes either with other AI crashing or failing like that with a tram. <laughs> Even give you details about what kind of things your cars are doing, like sliding on the roof for a certain length of the track. Oh crap. Yeah, I'm not very really, not played this in a long time, so that's why I'm kind of sucking right now. Well, that's one way to end the what end the uh, lap. But yeah, basically, the more you do, the more eventual unlock, and sooner or later you uh, complete it. It does take a, quite a while though, because there is a lot of uh, events to do. There's a ton of racing, there's a ton of time trials, and all of them lead to uh, extra events and extra races, and even extra cars. And here we go. Here's a race. We'll do the muscle series because we've just done the compact series. So yeah, as you can see, there's a variety of vehicles. You've got old muscle cars. Newer ones, even sports cars. We'll go for our older one. But like I said, they're all not licensed vehicles, but you can definitely see the influence. This obviously looks like a Mustang. That supercar looking one obviously looks like a Ford GT. So yeah, they are recognisable even though they're not licensed. This game literally takes its name Takedown to a uh, serious level. As you can see, I can do that. 
and when you get taken down, you get this thing called aftertouch, where it slows the game down, and you can move your car that's been wrecked around and try and wreck other AI opponents in the process. So, kind of like a bonus to uh, make up for the fact that you've just crashed. Two other cars came with me after that. So didn't really uh, lose any uh, positions at all there, did I? This game gets ridiculously fast paced when you get into the uh, likes of uh, Formula One cars. You hold the A button for impact time and you can move your car around. Like I said, it's been a while. And you hold A and you'll move it. Give me another opportunity there. at the racing on this, it's the uh, crash events that I'll show you off in a sec that I was the best at. Oh, I'm going to take it out there. Second and first are well ahead by the looks of it. Nine seconds behind, Jesus Christ. That's how much the us three have been battling. Yeah, that is a kind of the issue with this game when you are battling with several other opponents. The ones that aren't, because they aren't when it's crashing and slowing down, do tend to get quite far ahead. caught up to second place. Crash effects in this game are really, really good. Especially for the time. You can't really compare it to any real uh, proper full on AAA racing game right now. Only other game you can really compare it to, and that's being a bit vague at the moment with that term, is BMNG. But it's not really completed yet. Uh, second place left to settle for. Yeah, like I said, I'm not really the best at the racing, but, you know. That's not just what this game is about. Quite frankly, you can play this game just with the crash events and just enjoy it just as much. Which I will show you off now. So yeah, like I said, the dollar symbol ones are the ones that are uh, the crash events. There's a hundred of them, I think, or, or slightly more than that, maybe. But yeah, there's definitely a lot, and they're all varied. You can use di various different vehicles, from the smaller cars right up to buses, fire trucks, garbage trucks, you name it. 
So yeah, and it also gives you a shows you off what to do. So we've got a corner to deal with and some traffic. And come up here. The heartbreaker splits your uh, score in half and the times ones obviously times it. Plus those uh, coins gives you extra money. The gold giving you up to twenty thousand. There's a lot of tactics that take place on this, it's like whether or not you go to the boost storm or not. You get crash breaking when you destroy a certain amount of vehicles. I'm going to try and get the four times. I don't think I the four times. Yeah, as you can see, it can cause massive amounts of damage and crashes. And then it'll take all the tally of each vehicle that's been uh, damaged or destroyed. To give you an overall score. Oh, I did get four times. And there you go, 1.1 million. I didn't think I got the four times, I didn't even see the, see the uh, symbol pop up when I got it. And then it will give you a replay. I always like watching these. Always helps you determine where you've gone wrong or where you've gone right. And I think I went really right because I hit that explosion. Which catapulted me back to that lot of home. Made it go onto the other side of the traffic and made them pile up. Now oh, there, I got it. Got it right off, right just before I uh, explode. Can get some ridiculous car crashes from on this, so like cars will fly off right into the air or go over cliffs. It all depends on uh, the uh, map that you're on, but there are some really good maps. I said you save up all your global crash and totals and you win cars at various different amounts. 90 million I think is the uh, fire truck. The Far East levels are by far the hardest so I'm not going to bother trying any of them just yet. We'll do a few of these. Bayside Blitz. Yeah that's the F1 car I was talking about. The racing gets absolutely mental when you're in them kind of things because you're literally at the limit of control. <laughs> in the 4 GT look alike. Got a ramp. And a lot of them bunched up together with the heartbreaker right near that four times. So I have to be careful about that. Restart. Forgot about the impact time when I launch off the ramp. Yeah, when you launch off any ramp, it will automatically put you into impact time for you to crash. So you have to be wary about that. Have your hand right over that A button ready to slow it down so you can do what you need to do. No, 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 no. Ah! Yeah, there's literally no point continuing when you hit the heartbreaker. Because you will never get a gold unless you've done like a 1.5 million plus amount of damage. You will never get a gold medal when you uh, hit the heartbreaker. I think I'm just going to hit slam side onto that truck. slow me down and then I can maneuver when I get my next break. Go! Oh that taxi took a nasty crash there. Not the biggest crash ever, I don't think I got all of the other side of the traffic in on it but Decent enough. 
That flatbed certainly took a lot of the damage. Just got a gold medal there. Yeah, not the best crash, but a lot of these I haven't done for a long, long time. I, I, I know full well I've done them before, though, because uh, even though I've not had the medal on this save, I know full well I uh, did a new save, so I have done them before. Probably only the once. <laughs> Any more in the US? Uh, yeah. One here. Falling Down. Great film. If you've never seen that. Michael Douglas. I doubt that's what this relates to though. <laughs> so, a ramp down into that kind of traffic and there's four times he's on the off ramp and we'll do a couple more of these don't really need to show you off that much of this game it's, like I said, it's all that much to it Well, that went wrong. <laughs> yeah, a lot of this is trial and error, to be fair, but when you get it dead on, it is really, really satisfying. Which is what's so great about this game, I think. I think we'll the left hand right. I think I'm going to avoid the boost and then go for the left hand ramp because we certainly had enough speed getting up there. Place ourselves right into the lane. That traffic is going to come. The bus pushes all the way down. This is a tough one. Okay, didn't get the four times at all there. Eh? Barely got bronze by the looks of it. I'll try it one more time. I need the boost if we want to go for that ramp, don't I? Stay clear of the wall, because last time that didn't work at all. Traffic, I think I'm still in that. Not. I seem to have bounced straight off. But I got in there anyway. We need an explosion from another car in there. Yeah, look, still exploding. Yeah, that was much better. Yeah, I've done it. With that two times. And the gold and the crash breaker. I'm guessing that four times is really just a lure to get you to go on the other side and fail miserably. Yeah, you have to think tactics on this. It's not all just crashing and what, look and see what happens. 36 cars totals there. 
big pile up. Yeah, we'll do one more. See if Europe's got an ear for us. No. Yeah, roadblock. Let's uh, do this one. And then we'll finish it there. Four by four. Ooh, a bridge. Boost. Coin. A tunnel. Doesn't seem to be all that much to this one. Yeah, try that again. I can do that. I just missed a few of those vehicles to stop me near the two times. Retry. There is another one similar to this where you're on the bridge and there's a ramp and you uh, jump over the bridge to the other side of it. Oh! Right, between all of that traffic as well. I missed it two times. It's a hell of a lot better than last time. Those buses actually got it wrecked. Anyway, uh, I think you've seen enough of that. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you in whatever game we play next. Bye.